What is up guys, Fahad here and I'm with Zara once again and today we are going to discover a stingless bee farm here in Johor Bahru yeah. and uh, why are we discovering a stingless bee farm actually? Well because uh, basically I want to introduce uh, the concept of uh, stingless bees and honeys uh, to the market and also to educate people so today we are going to bring you to see my mentor who had taught me beekeeping and we are going to taste some real pure honey straight from the hive. Okay, today I'm not alone. Huh? I have I have somebody with me, Ashikin. She's with me, and we are going to discover the stingless bee farm together, lah. So this is Zah's mentor right here, Uncle Zul. He's the one that mentored Zah to start his own bee farm, lah, basically. So, uh, Uncle Zul, what motivated you to start a bee bee farm business? Well. Uh, I, I used to be a traveler some time ago. In every country, I bring home a bottle of uh, honey. Mm. Until I found out that 80% uh, of the honey in the world are fakes. So how to get real original honey? Mm. I got to keep them myself. And how long have you been doing beekeeping? Five years going now. And you know, these are the beehives right behind us. Huh? And I always thought that the beehive are what you see in the cartoon. You know, those round, spirally yellow things. Huh? That if it were to fall on you, huh? <laughs> the bees will come out and chase you away <laughs> and sting you. <laughs> those, those are sting bees. Sting, sting bees. bees. Uh, these are stingless uh, bees. Mm. So basically two types of bees in the world. Sting, mm. those you don't play play. Eh? And the other one is stingless. Stingless, they are, they're very friendly. You can kiss them. So I'm kind of nervous actually because we all get that stereotypes that bees will sting you. No, no, no worries, no, no worries, worries, worries no worries. No worries, mm, okay. Yeah. Hopefully nothing happened. Huh? So maybe Uncle Su, can you tell us how many uh, <coughs> different types of bees you keep here in your bee farm and how many hives that you have so far? Well, in the world, there are about 350 species of uh, stingless bees. In Malaysia, 36, 37 species right now. Uh, but the most popular one, which produce most honey from nectars, are uh, Itamas, Thoracica. There are many other uh, stingless bees, but the rest are a bit difficult to produce honey. Uh, mainly uh, because they, they need certain resins to build their honey pots. I will show you what honey pots are. Uh, I have about, at the moment, 80 over beehives. I would say about 99% are Itamas. This is a stingless bees hive. This is part of a tree, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in the in the wild, in the open, they will build. They will. This is the entrance, by the way, and they will build their nest right up to any cavities in the trees. Right? So what I do here is uh, uh, I cut this up. They will continue to build their nest and their honey pots over here, which I put a wooden box. I call toppings. There will be honey in there. I will show you later. In, in a colony like this, an active colony, there's about 30,000 bees. Only one queen. And the queen tells all the workers, which is the drones, the males, and the female workers, to do everything uh, by releasing her pheromones every day. This is what you call the queen control world. The queen controls everything. The males are out there. You can see the males there. Hi, workers. <laughs> these, these are workers the drones. Right? They, they think they are security guards, but they actually do nothing. The other function is to meet with the queen, and that's it. The female does everything. So there's, uh, uh, from the day it was uh, hatched from the eggs, clean up the eggs, clean up the toilets, there's toilet in there, take care of the baby, take care of the queen, feed the queen, and then forage for nectars. They live for about three months, and the queen lives for about six years, six to seven years. So I told you about honey pots. In the wild, they will just build their honey pots there, what I do is I make the topping up here and they made this all themselves. Eh? These are uh, honey pots. You can see? Honey pots. Uh, Very intriguing. Photographer, does it sting? No. <laughs> does it bite? No. Nope. Very nice. The difference between uh, stingless bees is they make their uh, put their honeys in a honey pot. Or many honey pots. Mm. Uh, normal sting bees, they will have honeycombs made yeah, from yeah, right. bee wax. So let, let me see, let me prick one and that is real honey. Oh my gosh. That is real, pure, unadulterated honey. How does this honey, is? how is it formed? The female bees will go to flowers, mm. forage the flowers for nectars and they, they have two tummies. One is tummy like us, the other tummy is what they call the honey tummy. They mix this with their enzyme and then they, they actually regurgitate 
vomit into mm. their their friend's mouth mm. at the entrance there, mm. and then regurgitate some more, some more, some more. Uh, they vomit about seven times, and finally into the honey pots. Mm. At the honey pot, uh, because nectars have higher moisture content, so the the the, the workers down here will flat and and evaporate that uh, moisture out. And when it's all ready and right, they will cover it up like that. Mm. And we call this complete honey. Mm. That's honey. Uh, oh my god. Ah. This is your first time tasting <laughs> honey, right? Yeah. Famous honey, right? Okay. So <laughs> How does it taste like? Not like at the supermarket. Yeah. It's very yeah. different actually. Supermarket is all adulterated, processed honey. Uh, this is raw. Raw means it's right from the, the beehive itself. Yeah. Process means they have boiled it. And when you boil it, means you have killed all the good bacteria, lactobacillus, uh, you have killed all the enzymes, mm. and you actually just have sugar. My turn to taste. Oh, different, eh? Different. How, how do you describe that? Isn't too sweet. It's not sweet actually, it's, and it's very thick also. I have to say that it's very different. It's not real, it's not like honey that yeah. I've ever known, you know. Why? That one is my favorite hive. Why? It has a very floral, sweet floral taste of honey. Ah. What what you tasted here ah. will be different. Ah. Come, let's oh. Can I ask something? So, how do you get this thing, actually? This is the entrance to the beehive. The bees made this themselves. Mm -hmm. These are actually part of uh, resins mm. uh, from tree saps. Mm. Oh, from, from, tree. from any tree that have sap. Durian tree, mm. rubber tree, mm -hmm. Rambutan tree, mango, uh, mangosteens, mm -hmm. they have uh, saps. Stingless bees will take this and build this themselves. So originally it doesn't have this? I can cut this off and they will make that tomorrow. Oh. Wow, interesting. All these are uh, resins from and saps from trees. Mm. Now we've tasted that uh, honey from the other hives. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see if I... Uh, oh, wow, the bees are all flying out. Okay. So how does this taste? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't eat here. You know how to eat only, right? Of course. <laughs> how does it taste like? Describe the taste. You cannot describe. Uh. How, how, how would we okay, describe yeah. this? How, uh? how do you describe the taste? It has like a sharp taste, something like that, you know? Yeah, it, it's that a, doesn't exist at the supermarket, uh, you know, right? The, the sharp taste is um, the citrusy. Ah, citrusy citrus, taste. yeah. Because you see, uh, the taste of this honey, well, it depends on what flowers, flowers. are they foraging on. Mm. So what? Okay, what type of for, exa for example, if if the bees are foraging on flowering plants like rose, uh, marigold, mm. you know, uh, they will have a floral, sweet floral flavor. Mm. But if the bees are foraging on uh, fruit trees, mm. then you will have a very citrusy oh. aftertaste. That's very correct. Uh, there are three different. Uh, taste, three different colors, three different textures, depending on the nectars which the bees forage. So, like you said, if you saw foraging the star fruit trees, uh, it will be very sour. If it goes to roses, smell is nice. If it goes to chili, it'll be chili hot. And the texture is different, the color is different, and the taste is different. Very, very unlike what you see in a supermarket, which is standard color. Number one, it may be fake, number one. Number two, it could be monofloral. That means they have it only at one plantation. Okay. Over here, uh, if, if you cut around my, my uh, farmhouse, you will see we have uh, hundreds of different kind of uh, flowering trees. Mm. Uh, every two months, mm. the queen bee will lay a, a queen egg called the genie, mm. G-Y-N-E. Mm. Uh, if, if this is really advanced class, if you take that egg uh, and supply that egg with some uh, uh, workers, worker bees, you put it into a box, mm. you have a new hive. Oh. So that will be sustainable. You have new hives, you're generating new hives every two months. Mm. So that one's, that's when the boxes come in. Uh. Yeah. Ah. All this yucky yucky uh, thing, uh -huh. which looks disgusting, is actually antibacterial, anti. Microbials. It's anti. So it's uh, consumable, lah. Yes, it's consumable. You can mm. actually eat it. Okay. <laughs> it's tasteless. It's, this is called propolis. They use it to make medicine. Anti-aging 
Tôi gọi là lồng để ăn tinh thần. Okay, so Keith is gonna suit up. Okay, why are you suiting up since these are stingless bees? Uh, because many bees will go cover your ear, go inside, try to uh, go to your eyes. Oh, okay. It will be very annoying, bro. Okay. okay, should I come close? Should uh, I come close? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this is all the honey pots. Oh, there's honey, there's all of it, there's honey inside there. Exactly. And some oh. is bigger, but it depends. We, we, we can have a look. Hopefully it's... Good color. Oh, it's gold. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Hey. This color is a bit lighter. Eh? Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. So, Zara and Ashkin is going to try it. Different color, different, different texture, different taste. How is it? Baru masuk mulut. This one is a lighter, milder. Mm. Milder taste. Milder, milder citrusy. This one is almost transparent, eh? Wow. I'm gonna sample this honey from this particular hive that Keith has just extracted. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it's very sweet. This is very sweet than the other hives. Can taste a bit of the citrus. Eh? Oh, no two hives can produce uh, same flavor. In fact, if you have a chance, you can get one hive, you can get three different colors of honey. Deep brown, golden brown, and very light. This one is See? Oh yeah, different pots even have different uh, colors. Exactly. And, co and probably uh, taste. When it's darker, it's less uh, citrusy. Okay, so I'm gonna try it now. This one is a slightly darker one from the same hive. Mm, yeah, it's less citrusy, it's more sweet. It's a small problem when you have different color, different taste, uh, and different texture. When you buy honey from my bee farm, this month it could be dark color. Next month it could be very dark. The other month it could be very sweet. Mm. Then following month maybe very very bitter. Ah, so this, uh, this will be a problem if people do not understand yeah. mm. that stingless bees produce different right. variety of colors and texture mm. of honey. So this is why your your property has a lot of flowering plants right? to get the bees to to pollinize all this. Uh, Flowers are basically. It's natural. Mm. Uh, I never do sugar feeding mm. because I, I consume those honey myself and my, mm. my, my family and my greater family. But bees do go to sugar solution, which is for me is not natural, it's not original. I, I think there must be some bad effects eh, when they have uh, they take sugar itself, white mm. table sugar with water, which is I, I, I just have flowers, real, real flowers. Real so, flowers. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not um, sugar fed. Sugar fed. Mm. Ah, sugar fed. Yeah. I can safely say that almost all the honey producers, honey farm uh, around the world, they practice sugar feeding because planting flowers is very tedious and very expensive. So that's why it's more cheaper for them to feed bees with sugar, sugar syrup, sugar solution for mass honey production. What my son is going to do is uh, really uh, pumping out the uh, harvesting of uh, honey. Okay. What we did just now is just uh, sampling with droppers. Mm. So it's our job. So what we have to do is we use this stick. Uh -huh. Alright. So we pop like for this big for mm. the entrance. So make a small hole just like that. So for every honey pot. Oh, so you just keep poking. Uh. So exactly. but this does not hurt the pot, the pots. Uh. No, no. Now you're going to extract the the honey using that, uh, what's this called again? Palm. Palm. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, this inlet will go direct inside the honey pot. Gently. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Lots of honey. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. In one pot. One pot, yes. So one section. All right. So half of this hive, you can collect about half a kilo or more. Yes. Just half of this hive. Exactly. Wow. So this process will take about half an hour usually for one hive. Hour. Mm. Yes. A bit nervous now, but I can have a go at the extraction of the honey from the the hive. Alright. So this is the button, Sushan. Oh, Sushan, the button there. 
Go, go, go. What go? Cuba. Right, you try. Yes, yes. Oh, lama. Cuba, cuba, cuba. Okay. Balik belum sini, eh? Mantap. I think that one finish. This one? Uh, the one. Chum. Uh, ah, that one. Uh, the one left in the tube. But not too big. Oh, oh, oh. Or else you will destroy the box. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, macam pakai dua tangan gitu. Macam mau masak, eh? Ah, padahal tak pandai masak, ni. Alamak. Ah, tak pandai masak. Pada makan je. Eh menarik lah kalau perlukan part time muka boleh panggil saya. Any part time job here, please call me. Uncle Zoo, you said you need labor. You need labor. I need free labor with one bottle of the madu lah. Ah, gitu. Okay, boleh lah. Boleh. Why not? Uncle Zoo tak nak angkat lah. Free labor, free labor. <laughs> Alright, it's okay. So I proceed with this. So yeah, you guys yeah. can go have a tour. <laughs> okay, thank you, Keith. Thank you. Okay, come. Let's take a look around the whole of the entire bee farm, and I'll show you what are the species of bees that is available inside. Okay, let's go. On the next episode. Okay, these are some of the hives that uh, Uncle Zul mentioned earlier that he has over 80 hives uh, in his bee farm here. Oh. These are the eggs. These are the eggs. Oh. Oh. Those, those are eggs. Sakit, those aduh. are eggs. Sakit, sakit, aduh. Lah, ingatkan sakit. It will not sting, don't worry.